Heidfeld's closing in as they come towards the final corner at turn 20. Is Heidfeld going to fancy a look in. into He's the last closing. corner of the race? Heidfeld goes to the inside line oh. and they make contact and they're both off. And that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. The two of them come together in the final corner, which means Lucas de Grassi is going to take victory in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. A dramatic, dramatic end to the race as Nick Heidfeld is pitched into the air after contact with Nico Prost. The Venturi team watching on. And what a dramatic end as the cars come across the line. But a shake of the head from Alain Prost. There is Nico Prost out of the car. And he goes as if to say what happened there. Takuma Sato set the fastest lap of the race. And there is Nick Heidfeld clambering out of his Venturi car. It's good to see. It's a fantastic to see Nick Heidfeld. Yellow bekommt vier Punkte und Schneider bekommt zwei Punkte für den fünften. Wenn so bleibt. Oh, nein, 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 so bleibt. Nein, nein. Oh, oh. Das war eine Attacke, die war einfach, die war nicht okay. Eckström hat versucht, auf der Geraden den Schneider rumzudrehen. Und alle vier haben wirklich darunter so gelitten. Das ist schade eigentlich, aber es war halt eben, es war wie es war. Also Schneider, das müssen wir festhalten, war fair dran, hat versucht zu überholen. Und Eckström hat rausgedrängt nach Und Schneider ist an der Yellow vorbei. Das gibt's nicht. Ja. Cleveres Manöver vom jungen Schweizer. Schweizer. Von Fessler. Fessler er hält. Da, oh. Schneider auf der besseren Linie. Ja. Und hat die zweite Position. Aiello dahinter. Fessler dahinter. Fessler jetzt vierter. Alesi bleibt vorn. Attacke von Fessler. Attacke jetzt von Aiello. Alesi ein. Das war der Rempler von hinten. Deswegen von der Linie weg. Oh, 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 das ist hier, das wird, also... Das ist die letzte Runde, Freunde, das ist die letzte Runde. So wird gewertet. Alesi, Alesi gewinnt zum zweiten Mal in der DTM, in seiner ersten DTM-Saison. Und Schneider. Und Schneider. Das geht nicht gut, Alesi. Ayello, Achtung. Ayello wird Zweiter. Ayello wird Zweiter. Ja. Okay. Nein. Nein. Nein, Ayello fährt in die Leitplanke. Und scheidet, nee, scheidet nicht aus. Fährt weiter und Fessler wird Erster, Schneider wird Zweiter, weil er Lesi ja. auf der Zielgerade. Here they come, heading through Caltex Chase. Skyfleet is right on Greg Ritter, but Ritter has got the preferred line through the left hander there. Whoa! Bit of a nudge. Skyfleet, they're all up there. Connor is hooked onto the back of Skyfleet and Ritter is out. Michael Simpson, oh, he's got out of shape. There's a huge accident. Look at Michael Simpson just spinning down as they came down towards Murray Connor. Oh, they're going everywhere. Woodrow's gone too in 62. It's come down to the finish. And how about that? Rodney Forbes has come from seventh on the last lap to win. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. That is the best Formula Ford race I have ever seen. Shell Helix Repay. Now watch it. That's Michael Simpson who got caught on Skyfleet. Look at Forbes. He zigzagged and weaved everywhere. Ritter's already gone. He's out of it. But then watch as they come down into Murray's corner. There's a cowling going flying there. That was looked like Justin Cotter. And that's Woodrow that's Woodrow just into the sand. Who's the wheel out? I, I, Here's a different angle. There's Simpson. He went right up on the front two wheels. It's hard to think it might have been Woodrow, actually, that got his nose under Michael Simpson's car. I think uh, what's happened is everyone, it's the last corner, they can smell the line, and everyone's just had a sniff of it, and they've all gotten completely desperate, and there was, uh, it got a bit nasty there for a while. But uh, I think that was Simpson's race, but someone's uh, upset it for him. Well, this is where it all started. Now, look at that. Skyfleet's right up the back of Ritter, and so too is Cotter. This is the view from the Whitman's lightship. Cotter's right up the back of Skyfleet. Simpson's stuck through. Bang! There's yeah. the contact with Phil Skyfleet. Simpson's spinning. Look at Forbes in the green and blue one. He zigzagged through. He's thinking, how good's this? But They've all gone will the man out. with the famous name make his own famous racing name? It's one thing to step out of the shadow of being a Habsburg. It's another to win at Macau. But he's got a chance to do it. And here he comes, folks. Ferdinand Habsburg has got the run 
on the number 19 and Camera is a sitting duck for now. He's got to defend and he does so through Manor and they're side by side. There's no room to do that, folks. And he's done it though. Has first done it. He's going to take the lead. And he's got to because Camera's going to run out of road. Camera holds on, but he's got a break, and through goes Hasberg. Sensational racing again. And Camera somehow holds off. Here we go. Lando Norris trying desperately to get up there, but it's going to be Hasberg trying to stop Sergio Sete Camera. And there's nothing between them. They're side by side coming to the last corner. Hasberg got him. Hasberg got him. And Camera hits the wall. So do does Hasberg. And Daniel Dignam wins the Macau Grand Prix. What a finish. Oh, I've seen some close finishes in my time here. But that just takes it all. And Desperate Dan does it in style at the Macau Grand Prix. <laughs> and deserves it too. Because he made the boldest move. He was there at the right time, and when all around were losing theirs, he stepped up to take what is almost an unbelievable... Half a lap. He's got a half a lap to go, and he's the Indy 500 champion. Panther Racing, oh so good. They finished second here, twice here they come again through the final two corners. J.R. Hildebrand. Careful of traffic. He's got to get around the lap. Traffic. What are the gears now? is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Weldon, after finishing second the last two years, wins when J.R. Hildebrand hits the wall coming out of four, just as Schechter did. What a tremendous finish. What a drive for Weldon. I'm tell I've been saying it all day that outside lane is a Let's go back and show you what happened. We talked about being outside the groove, up in the gray. An experienced driver would have just throttled back a little bit and turned around and just got off the gas as you watch Dan Weldon start to drive by. Look at this. That's just two feet in the wrong place. And it's been happening all day long. He almost won it with three wheels. Can you imagine the feeling that young rookie has? And here comes the 98 to get past. And look at how close it really was. There is Dan. And there comes Hildebrand coming across the line. And look at the reaction. And John Barnes can't believe it. And neither can the rest of his team. Oh, how oh, heartbreaking. What a great drive. Hildebrand just shaking his head.